Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. And for today's video, I will show you how to create chapters for your YouTube videos. Okay, what are YouTube chapters? YouTube chapters are like breaks or sections, video sections, each with individual preview functions. So these chapters can help your viewers to give them more information and context by allowing them to watch or rewatch different section of your video. Okay, and I will show you how to do it um, in a bit. So this is uh, one of my videos that doesn't have any video chapters in it, as you can see here. The, uh, but then I want to show you another uh, video on my channel. Okay, look at this. Okay. It has sections, as you can see here, in the uh, video progress bar, or this is um, as what uh, they call it video scrubber bar so as you can see here um, this video has sections or chapters on in the video progress bar and you can um, choose you have an option to choose which section you'd like to view first so a very good function for your YouTube videos it helps your audiences to have better navigation within the videos. This is very important. YouTube YouTube chapters or YouTube chapter markers are also visible on Google search. So when your viewer is using a mobile device, this helps them to skip chapters or choose uh, sections when uh, they are really on a go or want to skip some of the uh, chapters on your video and want to proceed with the with the uh, most important sections of your video they can do that so that is the uh, function you can get or that is the feature of the uh, youtube video chapters or video sections also this is really very good news because youtube chapters can help your videos uh, being displayed on so-called suggested clips on Google. So, so uh, that is very cool. Okay, so let's proceed. So I want to show you a video that doesn't have any video chapters on it. Look at this one. Look at the video progress bar or the, the video scrubber. It doesn't have any sections or chapters. But look at this video, look at the sectioning that you have on your video, okay, and I will show you how to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this helpful and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want new updates on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media, automation for the business, and digital marketing. Okay, so I will show you how to create the video chapters on your YouTube. So we have this video, and most probably if you have your created video you already have your script script with you so i have here my script i have here my script and we are going to uh, put some time codes on our video so you have your chapters you have your chapters already and all you have to do is go to your video and look for that chapters uh on the actual uh, video that you have uh, publish on your YouTube account. So, for example, um, zero zero 
zero zero zero zero in is for introduction. So we are going to put that time codes. So that those are timestamps, and you are going to grab that from your actual uh, video that is um, already live on YouTube. So that is my very first chapter, the introduction, and then my next video. So you're going to play your video and just grab the actual timestamps that you have on your video. Okay. Uh, you have your chapters already, but you have to look for that particular chapters on your actual video. So after that, on 127, so this is 127, and okay. so this is 127, and my next chapter uh, or label for that, timestamp. So 127 is a time code, and then the chapter for that 127 time code is six considerations or the introduction of uh, six con considerations you need for your VA journey. So I'm going to put that in there. I have here my notepad, and then you're going to play it again. And at 224, At 224, I'm sorry, it's 241. And at 241, another chapter is introduced. So those are services you can offer. So at 220, 241, I'm going to put that time code or time stamp. At 241. Uh, my next chapter for 241 is the services you can offer. And then at 543. At 543, at 543, you can use mobile phone if you have a, uh, an 8-hour work client. We need to turn off the, uh, the volume first. Okay, um, we already have our uh, time stamps or time codes inside your youtube you're going to grab it and then watch your video play it and grab those different chapters as per their timestamps okay and if you're already done with your your timestamps that you have you're going to put that in a notepad and then you are going to put that in your in the description section Okay, so this is the description area or section of your user on the back end of the user video and you are going to put that in there and you are going to save that. Now we are going to see how it goes. Okay. okay. As you can see here, the chapters are now live. We have the introduction. Okay. We have the six considerations you need for your real journey. We have the services you can offer. The time codes is at 312. And then you have your equipment chapter at 555. I'm sorry, at 543. And then you have your payment system at 606. And you have your resume chapter at 637. So those are just examples of chapters I created for this particular video and see how powerful it is if you uh, click on introduction or, or the chapters okay see how it changes and it presented on the um, side uh, right side corner of your video the um, the different chapters that you have for your video so the, we have here uh, same
time stamps and time codes that we created in here it's also in here so your viewer can grab each chapter the video so they can just skip part of uh, section or uh, sections of your video and just proceed to the uh, section that they really want to uh, view for example is the services you can offer they can just skip introduction and proceed with equipment they can just uh, skip services and just proceed with the resume chapter so these are really uh, very powerful so if uh, you click on the, the chapter uh, section in here the chapter uh, breakdown will be presented on the right hand uh, right side corner of your video so this is really really very very good function for your viewers um, so um, I suggest you, you create that because it uh, as per the YouTube algorithm it is very good because it is being displayed as so-called suggested clips on Google so it appears at top of SERPs for how to search terms with visual user intent. So this is really, really good. Okay.